hey, welcome back to another extra video. Today we're hopping into the fifth episode of the second season of Game of Thrones, The Ghost of Harrenhal. Uh, last time was a very good episode. I felt like it flew by. Um, so much happened. We had uh, Tyrion basically get uh, another member of the um, Lannister household to be on his side for... Um, to spy on Cersei. We had Joffrey being a little bitch and um, Tyrion saving uh, Sansa, who is quickly learning that um, being in the capital really sucks. <laughs> um, Arya was captured and unfortunately Tywin found out that uh, she's a girl. So uh, it's only a matter of time before he realizes her true identity, and I am terrified for her in that respect. And, of course, we have, um, at the end, we had the Red Woman who gave birth to, like, a ghost demon child, and it was like, what the fuck is this? Like, what is happening? So, um, I'm curious to see what happens next. Um, this show is so, so good, and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying, uh, my reaction to this series, and, um... Yeah, I hope this is a good episode. So if you want to uh, see my full reaction early, you can head on over to my Patreon page. I'll have the link in the description below. I ring out right here on YouTube. That's fine. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm ready to watch this episode. Your Grogu, he's ready. So let's go. This is the fifth episode of the second season of Game of Thrones, The Ghost of Harrenhal. Let's go. My son has no interest in the Iron Throne. Yeah, he even admitted it. In the morning, I'll destroy my brother's army. When that's done, <clears throat> Rathian and Stark will fight their common enemy together, as they have done many times before. Okay. Our two houses have always been close, which is why I am begging you to reconsider this battle. Negotiate a peace with your brother. Negotiate with Stannis. I understand his brother, though. He has the throne. He is the rightful heir to the throne. He has claim. Stannis has claim. He is the next in line. It isn't Joffrey. It isn't you. It isn't Renly. It's Stannis. So get him on the fucking throne and let's go. Whatever. Let's move forward. What? Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Ah! Oh. What the fuck just happened? What? Wait. Huh? You'll die for this. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Wait. We just stop, 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 stop. God damn. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. We need to breathe for a second. Yo. They really just killed off Rinley already? He's dead, girl. He dead. Facts. They started off this episode with a bang. We need to go home. They just kill off everybody, don't they? Get out, Stannis. I will put a sword through his righteous face. Stay here. What do you desire most in this world? Revenge. Okay. But you won't have a chance to put your sword through Stannis. Not today. You can't avenge him from the grave. Calling yourself king doesn't make you one. And if only wasn't a king, I wasn't a queen. Who the hell are you then? Do you want to be a queen? No, I want to be the queen. Hmm. <laughs> Stannis Baratheon is coming for us. Sooner rather than later. We need to be ready. No need to concern yourself over it. The king is taking personal charge of siege preparations. May I ask specifically what the king has in mind? Right. You may specifically, or you may ask vaguely. The answer will be the same. I think he needs to know. He's he needs to know. He's making wildfire. They have thousands of pots already stored in their vaults. They are planning to launch it from the city walls into Stannis' ships and armies. When did she tell you this? Before or after you fucked her? Oh. Olanzo, tell my friend Bron to please kill you if anything should happen to me. Please kill me if anything should happen to Lord Tyrion. Great. It will be my pleasure. I love Bron. He's great. Probably. 
If you take King's Landing with her by your side, the victory will be hers. I never thought I'd have reason to doubt your loyalty. Was I wrong? Some believe she whispers orders in your ear and you obey. What do you believe? You won those bannermen from Renly. Don't lose them to her. We Fair enough. The King's Landing without Lady Melisandre. Then you lead the fleet into Blackwater Bay. Most of those lords should consider themselves lucky and not hang them for treason. Hard truths cut both ways, said Davos. All right, then. Brother fought a case with sister in the bed of kings. Are we surprised when the fruit of their incest is rotten? It's hard to argue with his assessment. Yeah, as you say. What yeah. you your birthday present? It's the rest of us I'm worried about now. Me too. To the children of a trusty demon. You have to admire his imagination. <laughs> He's talking about you. What? <laughs> monkey. <laughs> the king's strings. They blame you for the city's ills. Stop. Yeah, they ain't listening stop. to you. Your captain commands you to stop. I have been reaping and raping since before you left Balon's balls. I don't reckon I've got much use for your ideas on how to do it. All I need is a ship. You wouldn't know where I could find myself. A ship, would you? Go on. I'll take you. They're not going to risk back to you until you prove yourself. Now am I supposed to prove myself by pillaging piss poor fishing villages? You're not. You don't think we could take it? Oh, we could. We could never hold it for more than a few days. As soon as Winterfell got word that we'd taken Tolan Square, the Starks would send their men to take it back. And then... And then what? Take me to my ship. What? Some Maybe I'm being dumb, but I have no idea what he's... Like, what happens after that? We've underestimated the Stark boy for too long. He has a good mind for warfare. His men worship mm -hmm. him. You've been waiting for him to fail. He is not going to fail. Not without our help. She's heard all Don't of this. Girl, where are you from? Maidenpool, my lord. And who are the lords of Maidenpool? Remind me. House Mitten. In what is their sigil? A red salmon. I think a Maidenpool girl would remember that. You're a northerner, aren't you? Good. And one more time, where are you from? Barrington. House Dustin. Two cross larxes beneath a black crown. <laughs> She's what learning. What say of Rob Stark in the north? They call him the Young Wolf. They say he rides into battle on the back of a giant dire wolf. They say he can turn into a wolf himself when he wants. <laughs> they say he can't be killed. Do you believe them? No, anyone can be killed. If only he knew she really was. Did I think he's got like respect for her now. Like, damn, maybe? The right God takes what is his. Lovely girl. Okay. And only death may pay for life. Okay. You saved me and the two I was with. You stole three deaths from the Red God. We have to give them back. So he's gonna Speak kill three people? Names, and the man will do the rest. Hmm. Three lives I will give you. No more, no less. And we're done. I can name anyone. Interesting. And you'll kill him. A man has said. The one who tortures everyone. They call him the tickler. That is enough. Dude, I feel like it's been a hot second since you've been up here. Gilly, you'd love this, hey? Really? There's nothing more sickening than a man in love. <laughs> ah. What do you think they were like? The first man? Stupid. They were afraid. I think they came here to get away from the city. I don't think it worked. Wildlings, one blast is for rangers returning. Wildlings is two blasts, three for white walkers. I read it in a book. <laughs> <laughs> the substance burns so hot it melts wood, stone, even steel, and of course flesh. The Damn. The substance burns so hot it melts flesh like jello. Well, you better not break it then. The jars are put in catapult and flung at the enemy. How much do you have? That's a lot. For pressing constants, at seven thousand. Oh my God! Enough to burn Stannis Baratheon's fleet and armies both. This Yo, best be careful. You won't be making wildfire for my sister any longer. You're making it for him. Look at this. It's her secret weapon. He's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. I can't. It's so precious. Mother of dragons. On behalf of the warlocks of Karth. Hi, creepy guy. Take this gem. Look at it. Into its depths. Look closely enough and you can see yourself in them. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? It would be an honor to host you at the House of the Undying. Um, I'm okay. You're We're good. Welcome. We're good. Mother of dragons. I know you. Jorah Mormont of Bear Island. 
Okay, why do you have this Boy. mask on? What's going on? Oh no one, but she is the mother of dragons, and fire has power. Well, where'd she go? What the fuck? A shadow in the shape of a mask. Mm. In the shape of Stannis. Right. Once you're safely back amongst your own people, will you give me leave to go, my lady? You mean to kill Stannis? But I could serve you if you would have me. Promise me that you will not hold me back from Stannis. Okay. When the time comes, I will not hold you back. Then I am yours, my lady. I will shield your back and give my life for yours if it comes to that. I, I love it this. The old gods and the new. Yay! Oh, I love this actually. I really do. Torrance Square is under siege. Torrance Square is barely 40 leagues from here. We have to help them. I'm mostly fighting men that are away with Rob, but I can gather 200 decent men. You need some men. We can't protect our own banner. Why should they protect us? Take the men you need. Won't take long, my lord. Southerners don't do well up here. I dreamt that the sea came to Winterfell. I saw waves crashing against the gates. What's that mean? Proud men were floating here. In the yard. The sea is hundreds of miles away. Yeah, like, why? I know. Lord Commander, I'd like to join Lord Corrin. I've been told lots of things, but that might be my first Lord. <laughs> You're a steward, Snow, not a ranger. Fought and killed a white. How many rangers can say that? You also let an old man beat your buddy and take your sword. Yeah, he's not letting him go. I hope you make a better ranger than you do a steward. Oh. What do you want? To cross the narrow sea and take back the Iron Throne. Why? The Iron Throne is mine and I will take it. The only thing that could open this door is this key. Okay. Behind the door, all I have to do is marry me. <laughs> that was a romantic proposal. But marry me and I will give you the Seven Kingdoms. And our children will be princes and princesses. What do you want? To see you on the Iron Throne. Why? You have a good claim. They cover it up when denied, but you have a gentle heart. There are times when I look at you and I still can't believe you're real. Oh god, he is so in love with her. It's ridiculous. So what would you have me do as my advisor? Make your own way. Damn! Alright. Oh, this is backwards! Oh! Oh, that was the guy that she said! He was the one that was torturing everybody! You got two more, girl. You got two more. Alright, let's go to talk about it. Well, that was the fifth episode of the second season of Game of Thrones, The Ghost of Harrenhal. Um, wow. It started off with Rinley being killed. Are you kidding me? Rinley is dead already? He's done. Like, this war between, like, the four kings for the crown, all of a sudden, once eliminated, like, in the most crazy way of, like, this, like, ghost man thing thingy that I guess was birthed out of the red woman like oh my god how creepy is that um did not see that coming whatsoever that was crazy then we had Brienne I'm so happy she um committed herself to Kat which is awesome I'm really loving Kat this season and the fact that Brienne I love her already she's awesome <coughs> So sorry, hold on. some water, hold on. Okay, so uh, Brienne is now protecting Kat, which is awesome. I love that, but I do love the fact that also Kat was like, I will not stop you from killing Stannis if we get to that point. And Stannis is right there. I will not get in the way of that. Cool. Um, we had... Um, Arya get, um, uh, basically, I guess the one guy, I guess, was in the, I, I think he was in the group that Arya was with when they came into the city or when they were traveling and I guess she saved them. And basically he just said that, um, I will kill three people for you, essentially, because you saved our lives. And he's got one, which is the guy who's, like, torturing everybody. So that was weird, and his head was backwards, and it was very creepy, but very cool. Uh, so now she has two more. So I wonder who she's going to pick. This is going to be interesting. It'll be juicy, and I'm excited to see. So now she has this, like, weird power, which is kind of cool, um, whoever she names. So this will be interesting. <coughs> and then... We had 
Um, basically, everybody falling in love with Daenerys, because let's be real, she's absolutely gorgeous, and she's awesome, so I don't blame any of the men, and she's basically just trying to, she wants her Iron Throne, and this, like, wealthy patron decided that, ooh, you can do this if you marry me, and she's like, fuck that shit, I'm gonna do this on my own, I'm not gonna marry no man, I don't need that shit, let's go get shit myself, so she has that, which is awesome. And of course, you know, you do know that the guy who's protecting her is in love with her. That's obvious. But I'm wondering if, like, there's going to be something, something. Like, that wouldn't be the craziest thing. That would actually be the most logical thing that would happen in the show. Um, I wouldn't be against it, to be honest. I, I kind of, I don't, like, ship them, ship them. But, like, it'd be interesting if they, if they do go that route. Um... Let's see what else happened. What else happened? Dude, there's so much that happens in these episodes. Um, he died. Uh, so I guess this guy decided to attack another place that uh, I guess is close to Winterfell. Um, to what prove? A point I don't, I don't understand. I'm guessing that'll become more apparent uh, soon. Um, and I guess John is going to go somewhere for the wildlings. And then we have, oh, we have the wildfire. That was the other thing, the wildfire. Um, so I guess this can, like, burn through anything. So it's basically, like, the modern-day equivalent to a bomb is what I'm gathering. And they have a shit ton of it ready for Stannis whenever he comes to attack. So good on ya, uh, CRC, for having all of this available and working around the clock to create as much of this as humanly possible. Um, yeah. I don't know, something about this place was flooded. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Uh, yep. Anyway, all right, so that was pretty much the episode. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Um, very intriguing. Uh, things are definitely heating up. Things are getting very juicy. Um, people who are very much in danger are still in danger. And, um, dude, I just cannot believe Renly's dead already. Like, this is insane. They didn't even get a battle out of him. They literally just, like... It's like, we have a ghost man dude that's going to kill you and looks like Stannis. Like, fuck. So, um, all in all, a good episode. I'm really enjoying the show, really enjoying the series, and I hope you guys are enjoying me watching the show um, as we go along. So, if you want to see my full reaction, you can head on over to my Patreon page. I'll put the link in the description below. I'll hang out right here on YouTube. That's fine. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next episode.